Hey, what we doing, huh? Hey, how you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing? You be good. I'm trying to. There What's you happening? go. I'm loving you, thanking you, appreciating you. Wait, hold on. I think I need to. I'm sorry, y'all. It's all good. Take your time. Let me put something more up on here. Okay, let's see what this do. So talk to me. What's going on? Oh, I'm just trying to uh, give my auntie her roses and flowers and, you know, things of that nature. Oh, thank you. You know, Man. of course, of yes. course. You know, I, I've been doing these little, I mean, not little, I've been doing these KIU conversations where I um, give flowers and roses to, to the people that motivate me, to the people that are resilient. All my family, my folks, just people that I'm so proud of and people that are bosses and entrepreneurs and, and making things shake. You know what I mean, I.T.? Talk to me now. Yeah. You know, you know. So, so, so it was only right that I come talk to my auntie, you know what I mean, to get some, uh, some of your story for your people that follow you and, and, and just some of the history, you know what I mean? Yes, yes, yes. So, so, so. Tell people where you grew up, Auntie. Uh, I'm from San Francisco, California. You know what I'm saying? Born and raised. You know, um, started out in Leland, like Sunnydale, mm -hmm. when I was younger, Hunters Point. You know what I'm saying? Then I moved to Lakeview. So kind of I'm like Lakeview and Hunters Point. Mm -hmm. Then my home's right there. So San Francisco, California. Now. So, so what, what was, how would you describe San Francisco in the nineties to somebody? Man, shoot. Hustling. Man. Yeah. <laughs> That's the, it, back then, for me, it was just the sound of the hustle. Like, I started so young, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I was like at 15 years old, you know? And the life up there is so fast. You know what I'm saying? Then how Sacramento is so slow because I'm in Sacramento. Mm -hmm. But uh, but the life in San Francisco, I don't know. I don't know. I think these when we come from the skull. Anybody come from the Bay Area, we got we get soaked up with so much gang. Yeah. Because it's everything going on at one time, and we just get we just soak it all up. So you know, I just became a. You know, a, a getting my money type of individual mama, mm -hmm. especially for her kids. You know what I'm saying? So the hustling life stopped. It was time to do something positive. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so, yeah. How would you describe your household growing up? <sighs> my household? Um, I had it good coming up. I did. Um, you know, my my mama, she had me in dancing when I was young. Tap, I did tap dance and I did ballet. Um, I didn't get the life that my older brother and sister got. Sino, mm -hmm. you know, Sino and my sister Lisa, but they got the good life because my daddy was. Explain that. Dude. Explain that. Explain that. Man, my daddy was cold. You know what I'm saying? Back in his days, you know what I'm saying? He was doing his thing, you know, he was a pimp, you know, had gorgeous women. My dad also has maybe about 20 some kids. Mm. Yeah, so I got hella brothers and sisters all over the Bay Area. But yeah, but my daddy was cold. He had a um he had a studio because he was into music. You know what I'm saying? He had food restaurants, he had he had a couple of things going on. So just learning, I just growing up under a dad like that, but he was about his kids. He took care of his kids and he took care of other people's kids. Mm -hmm. And I think probably why I'm the way I am, because I always welcome other kids in my home. Mm -hmm. Like I can name at least 10 kids that I, I helped take care of that wasn't even mine. Mm -hmm. You know, so just coming from a uh, from learning from a man like that, excuse me, y'all. <clears throat> I'm forever grateful because I'm so ganked up. I'm so gang tight. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Mm -hmm. so, 
and he made sure he kept us. He made sure we knew the game ahead of time too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying mm -hmm. about me? Because he knew what he was out here doing. So it just gave me a game. That's why I didn't run through niggas. I didn't have to run through niggas. Excuse my language. Mm -hmm. I knew I was, I had, I had a lot of respect for myself. So I didn't have to do that shit. Mm -hmm. Shit came to me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So every nigga that I can't. I didn't have to run through niggas. Right. Because I already had a game. So um, I don't know, nephew. It was a it was a life, you know. Yeah. For some reason, we all we all hustled. I don't know what it was, but we all hustled. Right. And all 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 of us, and out of all the kids, all my brothers, I got hella brothers in the Bay Area, man. Like y'all wouldn't believe it. I got thirty six nieces and nephews mm. running around the Bay Area. So right now, as we speak, we're trying to put on a family reunion because we can't have nobody meeting. <laughs> oh, <laughs> accident. <laughs> it happened before. Right. My brother, my brother um, Tyrone Hunter from um, Vallejo. It happened before. Mm. And with my sister, but nothing happened. But just imagine you going to you going to somebody's house, your your girl house, or your somebody you trying to get at house. And you see your daddy on the wall, and you like, hold on. How, how you know my that's, daddy? That's, on, that's my daddy. So it was just like, so it happened. So yeah, so I'm just trying to get the family on one accord because we all spread it out, and that's the only thing about that life mm -hmm. is that you know a lot of secrets and stuff. So now I'm trying to get, you know, trying to get everybody together. I got so you. That's all. Yeah. Do you think because of how your dad had those kids, is that part of the reason why you keep your kids so close and why y'all do so many things together? Yeah. 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 I had to because growing up uh, with different siblings and uh, different personalities, it was hard at some times. But, you know, me and my sisters and we got it all together and stuff right now. And I'm blessed for that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I made sure that I kept my kids tight. We ain't doing, we ain't doing that fighting. We ain't mm -hmm. doing, they know. Any of my kids ever had a, like, started, like, fighting one another, I go crazy, bro, because yeah. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. I start, <laughs> yeah, <you know? laughs> yeah. So I just don't like that, you know? So I always wanted to keep my family tight. We don't see that no more. You're right. You know? don't so well i think too what people might not know about you this journey of you and being tight with your kids and creating this nucleus this started way a long time ago with your oldest kids and you, you never see you without your kids until since since i was a kid in the on the streets since i was in the window since i started hanging on the block that that never ever you know what i mean it, it, yeah, it always, it, no matter what was going on, it was always about your babies. If they getting out, beating me up at the park, whatever, the oldest three, everything, you know what I mean, Auntie? Like, so, you know, that was just a, a training ground, a, a, a beginning stage for what you're doing now, you know what I mean? Right, right, yeah, they was bad as hell. <laughs> but, so, um, the crazy part is the change. You know, it took mm -hmm. my husband to leave because of some bullshit. And before you go, when did there. you first meet? Him? When did you first meet your husband? Rewind for me. When did you first meet Man, my I big, was, my big, my big, my love, my big dog? Go ahead. Dang, I met Keita at the store, right there on our broad. Um, at the broad right street show. And um, I had my little nursing outfit fit on. And um, I was older, you know. Mm -hmm. I think I was like five years old. But um, he always was on me, you know. So I was like, what's this little black nigga? <laughs> so one day we smoked and, you know, we talked. And I'm going to tell you one thing. Him... That was a real one because one time we was at the store and these girls came through 
this is what really made me like him. These girls came through with some stuff, and it was some kid stuff. And he he got out. He was like, "Oh, what y'all got? What y'all got?" And he was like, "Tanisha, do you you need these toys for the kids? Come look at this. These weren't even his kids. Yeah. I had three kids at the. It was one, two, and three. Mm -hmm. And um, he brought them. I was like, oh." Okay, you know, that was a point. That was maybe about five. Months. Right, right, yeah. But he was, like, he, he was just a hustler. Like, he didn't even care about getting dressed. Mm -hmm. or, you know, that he had to slip on a, 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 a hoodie, a sweatshirt, or some sweats, and get out there and get some money, right? So one day I was thinking, I was like, damn, if I um if I flipped his whole little, yeah. you know, I was booed time. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? That was my side hustle. So I was like, if I flipped his little whole script, and just remember, none of the none of the girls was tripping on Keita. Right. But I flipped his script. <laughs> <laughs> when he got with T. 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 Hey, T. 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 It was like, oh, so he like, he like Tanisha. They they on. I said, baby, I had to flip you. Man. I said this how. So this how you supposed to be, you know, looking. I said, it was just a blessing, though, because I don't know why God brought him in my life like that. Mm -hmm. I had him for, what, 20 years? Mm -hmm. 20 years long. Yeah. And, and look what he, like, it's like I was going through a story, like a journey, like, mm -hmm. you know, even, mm -hmm. even with Shaheen. Even with Shaheen. Started there. Like, how, 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 me, out of all them mm -hmm. girls, he had, and me and him one time, how? Hmm. And it gets deeper than that. Yeah. But I know I need to book about what I've had, what I've been through. But, yeah, Keita Black, yeah, it was a real one. And he, I tell you, when we first moved to SAC, he walked. We didn't have a car. No, I think our car got towed. And um, what year was that? What year was that until when y'all moved to Sac? Nineteen ninety nine. Mm. Uh mm huh. Nineteen ninety nine, and um, lives is just changing. But we had to start over. I didn't from I, scratch. I you, from scratch, yeah. You know mm -hmm. that wasn't going to the <laughs> no none of that. So um, I think by me. Just making that change and sacrifice, mm -hmm. whole life changed. Cause I had this with Shaheem and, and Mango. They was just like that, dancing like Keita, but I was in the streets, so I didn't recognize. Them. Mm -hmm. Too busy trying to get money, mm -hmm. so I can, you know. And um, but I had that, and now that how I just sat back and moved and um. Learned how to be broke. God created a whole nother lane for me. I started cleaning up the studio so my kids can start dancing. Mm -hmm. Because I was recorded at the time. And I did that shit for like three years. Mm. I did it for three years. And look at my kids. Mm. I sacrificed. I put all my all into them. You know? Yeah. Also kept them close and to know the importance about family because without your family, you ain't going to... That's why they so humble. Man. You know what I'm saying? I, Nikita, I was going to ask you, how do you keep them humble? Because they are so beautiful, all so talented, all of them. How do you keep them humble with all this attention in the world and all these different things that's always, you know, giving them their praise but building their ego, you know, at the same time, how do you keep them grounded? Man, prayer, mm. you know, it's just, I know a lot of people don't, but I'm not going to get into that part, but I know God is, is, is real and it takes a, um, it takes a strong, I, I don't know. I think I just always express, I think what I used to go through at a younger age when it came to families, I don't. You know how you watch these movies back in the day, like when we used to go to our grandma's, you know, yeah. some of the old back in the day, like mm -hmm. great cooking and, 
you know, we, we don't get that no more. So I was just trying to bring back the that mm -hmm. because I love that. Where what happened to that? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We're getting all these women having these kids, it's getting worse. And now the the parties is the that's the parties like when we get together now. It's like where is the family? So keeping a family tight, um we just did everything together. You know, I made sure they danced together. Mm -hmm. I've just made sure they did something together always, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, instead, and then when, when we have an argument or a disagreement, they back in five minutes. Mm -hmm. or it, it's less than that. Like, it's just learning how to deal with each other, you know, and having fun together. Like, my household, we capping all day. We laughing all day. Right. Um. We chasing each other in the house all day type of stuff. Like throwing balls and, and, and like just crazy. Right. You know what I'm saying? But most importantly, we like we like to dance. I could be in the kitchen cooking they hey, go ahead, mama. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. you in the UK. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. UK, you and the kids, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? We had a big a little family throwdown, like right. and it was fun. You know, we just like we was painting that day. Matter of fact, you were y'all was before we got y'all was right. Drawing in the, for the painting, but I remember we was painting that. Day. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That type of stuff. That's a prime example. Beautiful. You know what I'm saying? At, I interviewed my kids when they was young because it was a fun and game to me. That's what it do. Let me tell you something. Mm. Let me just tell you this right. I used to be chilling on the couch. You know. Mm -hmm. Come back, lay on the couch, and be like, "Come on, y'all!" So I call all the kids, "Come in the living room, come on, all y'all, come here." They're like, "Dang, mom, what you want? You just want us to put you to sleep?" Because they know once I <laughs> and I say, I line each one. I said, "Tell me about yourself." First kid go. Tell me about yourself. Uh, you know, in the beginning, they was edgy. That's why they don't have a problem in getting interviews. Mm. A long time ago. Line your girls up. I'm trying to tell you. And baby boy. Yeah. Like, tell me stuff. Uh, my name's Tanisha. I'm 35. I'm such a sex. I love blue. Like, I was on a line like that. So, every kid that came through my house went through that. So, yeah. I have I made a lot of sharp kids. I mean, <laughs> Playing those games, getting them prepared for the future. Mm -hmm. Terrible in the interviews. I, I didn't know how to get the job. That's probably why I stayed hustling. Right. <laughs> but I didn't know how to, you know, to talk mm -hmm. and to be confident talking to these people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The interviews, starting them now, and, and it, it's fun. It's it's a fun exercise. I did so many ex exercises with them. Yeah. But yeah, that's how I think we we did. It's like a classroom. Mm -hmm. We play a lot. Okay. Play, it, it's, you know, I'm crazy. I'm, I'm I'm a big kid, so I didn't. I wasn't that strict mama either. Yeah. So I talked to my kids. Mm -hmm. I built a relationship with my kids. I never showed favoritism. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so. How do you find the balance or how do you find that balance between mom and manager? I know it's probably a lot of the same attributes, of course, but is there a fine line between that and and like hold on, I'm I'm your if you want me to be big or you know what I mean, how do you find that balance? Uh I'm mama. You know what I'm saying? Manager all at the same time. It's all the same because I got to make sure I keep them up on their stuff. Even the ones that's coming up. Yeah. Like Kiana. Mm -hmm. Graduate school. I'm trying to tell her about social media. Okay, you got to start branding yourself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so start putting the pictures of people going to start looking at you. You've done these jobs. Start, you know, keep up with your stuff. Mm -hmm. Time can become an argument because I know what I'm talking about. But then that manager is when I get mad. Right. That's when I come out, you know, you need to do, you know, mm -hmm. to both of them. Like, I'm trying to get them, like, look what I've done for your brothers. Mm -hmm. A little sister. Trust me. 
You know what I'm saying? So it just kind of gets hard to when they don't really know. I mean, they know. They just not into the entertainment. But you guys are your fashion designer. Kiana's a, a director. Mm -hmm. You got to start branding. Look at me. Right. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? And I'm still doing it. Mm -hmm. And I'm playing. But it's, it's hard when um, some kids are scared. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like a fear to it, advance. Like, come on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's do it. I'll take it all over. I can handle it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to keep all my kids up and above water. And, um, you know, I know what it takes. Right. I know what it takes. You know? Mm -hmm. So just trust me. I see you coming out. I see T Pimpin coming out more and more lately. And you seeing the, the people they want to see T Pimpin. They love your energy and the yes. world is getting to see who you always been. But how is it for you stepping out in front of the camera more and just letting letting people see moms and letting them see who you are? How has that been? Um, it's been fun because you know I'm 50 years old and um I just feel we only got one time to do this. Now. Like, live it up. Mm -hmm. Am I lying? Now. Like, where, now. I, I'm to tell that I, I, and some people be like, go to Shaheem or when we're doing this video, why your mom still dancing? Like, Listen. To because I feel good. Now. And I love to have fun. Now. Which means that. So that's when I when people be like, kind of like hating and stuff. Yeah. Like, it's crazy because what's wrong with having fun? A lot of a lot of girls wish their mom was like me. Definitely. Because mm -hmm. maybe it came out a little better. Right. You know. What I'm right. Mm -hmm. So, um, I love doing what I do. Um, I love inspiring. It's more about the inspiring. Yeah, I'm fifty, mm -hmm. but I'm still. Come on. Now. You know what I'm. Saying? So I just love to have fun. I love to laugh. And I'm just living life. And it's my turn. Now, can't nobody Stop. tell you what winning is supposed to look like to you. And ain't no yeah. age limit on winning, having fun, enjoying life. Ain't no limit to that. And, and for the people who ain't never experienced it, of course, they're going to try to critique it because they don't know what it feel like. Right. You know what I mean? God gave me this youth for a reason. Because mm -hmm. I some work I have to do. Now, what I'm doing, I'm trying to help other kids. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I like to throw events and talent shows. Come dance. Mm -hmm. Dance for me. Like, that's what I did for my birthday. I didn't go out to the club. Yeah. I didn't do that. I had a show and invited all the kids that want to come dance with Mama T. Yeah. That's what I did. Yeah. So, my. Yep, and uh, so for more kids, so mm -hmm. I'm just I'm just popping out while I'm here, right? You know, this time we got here, but I know I'm trying to pop out while I'm here now. Me, I've been popping out <laughs> when I was just go California, you know. Talk to me. Everybody knew about me, man. This, hey, this, 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 this your second and third run, Auntie. You been, you been her. You been her, Auntie. Huh? Come on. You know, so, you know, now I'm in Sacramento trying to make some stuff happen. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to connect people all over the Bay Area because that's where I'm from. But for some reason, I don't know. It just don't be happening a little bit that way. But if you're from the Bay Area, you want to do some stuff, you want Kita to come out, birthday parties, um, you want to learn sign language? I got that for my oldest son. Mm -hmm. We got you want jackets? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Jeans. Feel me? Now, awesome. come on, come get yeah. dipped with T Pimpin. My own bag. If y'all want to know what Mama T been doing, I've been creating my own bag. I want my own money. I've been having my kids do this for the longest. Hmm. So I don't want to take care of my mama. Now, you know, I, I I'm fine with getting my fees and all that stuff. Yeah. But mama want her own bag, so I'm creating my own bag. So that's why you probably haven't seen me dancing as much. Because mm -hmm. I'm like, this tote, this coat took me five hours to do. Now. So it's time. 
So yeah, I'm creating a bag and I want a big bag. You know what I'm saying? I want a little bag. So yeah, so that's what I'm on. What's some I didn't of, even listen. Oh, what's I'm some, sorry. Oh, they're down there talking to us. You know they're showing you love, Auntie. Okay. What's some of the keys to branding yourself in this in these times and this technology? What's some of the keys to branding yourself? Number one is staying consistent. Mm. Always, let me tell you what happened. A prime example, I kind of sl slowed down on the Instagram the because I was going through something. I was trying to find my own self. Mm -hmm. You know, I won't need some stuff. Mm -hmm. And, and um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm having, I'm having a brain fart. <laughs> um, 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 what you say again? I'm sorry. What did I say? I, I didn't lost myself to it. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> <laughs> Oh, I said, what's some of the um, what's some of the keys to branding yourself in these times and with this technology? Staying consistent, mm -hmm. you know. They try to figure out uh, what can I post, what's good content, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm gonna tell y'all something. Once I when I was consistent, my views was out the crazy. I was crazy on Instagram, mm -hmm. and uh, when I stopped. And I started focusing on some stuff I had to do for myself. Um, I feel that Instagram put me back, back. Yeah. Like I'm a beginner again. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's that? The algorithm. Alg alg that algorithm. Stuff? Yeah. Yeah. So that's very important because staying consistent because you would get put back. I was making so much money off of Instagram. Now I love Facebook because that's where the money is at. Mm -hmm. Facebook is paying the most money. But um, I stopped. I don't even want that Instagram. That little money, yeah. I don't want it. But if it's going to mess with all my stuff. But anyway, um, staying consistent, coming up with good content. And I realized this year that I was tired. I don't, I don't want to be in my house dancing. I don't wanna, if I'm going to do that or taking pictures in my stuff, like now I go places and go take my pictures. Okay. I step, I'm stepping it up yeah. a little bit. And um. Or, um, you know, collabing with people, mm. which also bring you their, some of their followers. Okay. Then don't be scared to reach out to collab because people in LA, they do it all the time. They don't want to collab with you in a video, whatever. Right. But staying consistent. And if you ain't going to do, if you're not um, posting what you're doing, at least post a picture, just do something, put a little real song over it so it's like playing as a real, like getting your you know, your stuff up. But Keeping your traction. Posting. Keeping your traction because mm -hmm. I that once you stop posting mm -hmm. and you're not posting, you're going to lose followers. Mm -hmm. You're going to lose. Like, I'm losing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I don't care about that. That's not, I don't care about getting money. Now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Making, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I don't care about losing. But I do want to continue to keep it up. I'm still slacking though, because I ain't posting in what two days. Mm -hmm. so I slack. I still slacking. Right. Two days, yeah. Right. Slack. I could have posted something. Mm -hmm. So, three videos, one video, two pictures, two videos, one picture, however you want to do it, three times a day. Right. Just imagine I'm Instagram posting, then I got to go to the Facebook, then I got to go to TikTok. That's that, that, that's hard work. Right, work. and that's why people who see these people making it from TikTok and they they act like it's just something they, it's easy. Nah, it's a lot. It's a lot of energy that goes into it. You gotta find the sound. Make sure you match it up the correct way. <laughs> Listen, always add sound. Now, if we can't find a sound, there's nothing we can do about it. Okay, then just post it. Always add the sound because it's gonna give you that extra. Um. Okay. And so you know how you do post and stuff and then it's just your sound your regular find the song on the real on the real thing mm -hmm. and um and then just match it you know lining up you know mm -hmm. where it's where supposed to start or whatever but anyway that's it just stay as consistent is really really the key to the social media stuff we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get you to do a a, a master class book on how to monetize on the social media for these people yeah. who got followers, but they just got followers that don't know how to get the check. You know what I mean, Auntie? You know what I mean? Yeah. You do a step-by-step -step guide for them. Yeah. 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 Ye
you know what? And it's so easy to get done. You know, you got to do it on a computer, but it's so easy to get done. You know it's easy, Auntie, and it? And Okay. You know what I'm saying? You know, all you got to do is put it together, Auntie, man. They're going to come see you. They know you know what you're talking about. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. oh, I've done this, baby. My yeah. Kid, stop playing with me. Yeah, talk to him, my T. <laughs> and I got Mo. Yeah, and we got Mo coming. All different flavors, all different brilliance, all different genius. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I'm gonna be like, I'm not, I'm not gonna say them, but like the Wayans family, like families that you know that like really did something. Because I feel that when families have big families. It's 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 a bigger blessing in it mm -hmm. for real. Mm -hmm. It is if you do it right. Right. You got hard. I always told people when I was like fourteen, I'm gonna be like Joe Jackson. I'm gonna have ten kids. Yeah. And I was playing, just being an asshole, just me. Yeah. You know, just playing the best and look at me. Now. And I was just talking all my all my partners. Everybody tell you that, like Tanisha was talking that stuff years ago. Forever, and, it, and I and I, it happened. Now, yeah. talk to him, Auntie. Um, with 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 all the success and all the different blessings, is it ever hard for you to embrace them or to really take it in when you've took it when you've taken such huge losses as well? Man, it's um I feel like now now um it's just like it's just something that just what it is now. Mm -hmm. Like um, it's like a thing. Mm -hmm. But in the beginning when Kitty was getting checks, that video I did with us in the car and when I was in that blue car and mm -hmm. it was, it was uh, the little cartoon and Keith and Bannon was in the back. I don't know if he was nodding our heads like this. Mm -hmm. That like when a check when Keith first started getting paid at eight, I drove when they said he did a Target commercial. <laughs> it was like ten. I said they said yes, Tanisha. Uh, Leon's check is here. Um, you want us to put it in the mail? I said what? <laughs> what that? <laughs> I said. I I'm on my way. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't know who they was talking to. Wait a minute. You know, stack what? I was I was five and a half five and a half hours at that day, that time because I was in the south area. I drove. <laughs> I drove to get that. We weren't playing with that. Don't put that in the mail. Now. But this one is show. Because I swear, like I didn't, I didn't think he was going to win. Because like we always got close to stuff, and then it just didn't happen. Mm -hmm. I had that, like, every time. yeah, <laughs> yes. Like at your time, and that's what I felt. And then for when Keita did that show, mm -hmm. and it's, it was the same day it was his daddy's birthday when mm. he came on the audition. Which was the crazy thing. So for him to win that show on my anniversary and on his daddy's birthday, mm -hmm. that is good, bro. Talk to that me. our lives. Mm. Literally. That literally, huh, Auntie? And you know what? We was we I don't know. It was just crazy, like. We had money, but we still stayed in this house in the South area. Like we wasn't that we weren't, we was ready, but we was scared. Mm. Yeah, you know? yeah. More like, like, oh, like. But we made sure we did something with the money, you know. Mm -hmm. Our house, yeah. Cars, and I made sure everybody had a car. <laughs> now, right. Had everything right. Got all just um, invested into some studios. I had to shut it down during COVID, but I'm not gonna say I wasted. But it's so it's all good because you know everything will whatever it's supposed to be will be. Of course. So, 
how we believe. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? If something doesn't happen, you know how I train their mind to be? Mm -hmm. I say, I guess it's the next one. Yeah. You know, when one, you know, this just wasn't our time. So that's how I always talk to them. So when they lose or, you know, at a young age and stuff, it just wasn't your time. It was his time. Mm -hmm. You know, so I had to explain that at a young age. So, you know, the game and teaching them young. And I'd never sugarcoated anything. I talk shit. Excuse my language. Mm -hmm. I'm being truthful. Mm -hmm. I talk. Like if I was talking to you about something, mm -hmm. I'm them so they understand. I'm not. I don't want none of them going blind into anything. Yeah, we're gonna get it now because I want y'all sharp. This life is rough and it's tough. Mm -hmm. You know. So, um. Yeah. Who who does my auntie? Who does Nisha go to? When it's a little overwhelming, when it's a little stressful, when it's a, 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 it gets to be a little bit much, who do you go to to vent? Who do you go to to get stuff off your chest? Um, who do I go to? Mm -hmm. I you know what? I don't know. I kind of, I'm a Gemini. Okay. So it's type of, I can talk in my head and be talking to God. Now. My head, though, I might not speak it, mm -hmm. but I can, or, you know, I'm talking, but I'm mm -hmm. in my head. Mm -hmm. Whatever I'm meaning to is, I know it's God. Um, got a couple of friends, you okay. know. Yeah. Girl, my partners from Hunters Point, you yeah. know. Like, but I kind of try to put this thing because I'm a strong woman and I feel that if I ever felt any type of feeling, depression, uh, loneliness, in, um, just mad, I feel that's the devil. Mm. Like that's the devil trying to, trying to overturn the person who I am because I'm a, I'm a funny person. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? love to love and I love to laugh and I love family so anytime if I'm feeling a certain type of way anytime anytime anybody's trying to feeling like that that's the devil Man. God feel the way that we get to feeling when we know it ain't right mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying yeah. so you know I just turn to to God a lot you know but I try to stay strong. I'm a fixer. That's the problem. I'm a fixer. So if something's going wrong, like somebody can going crazy, and I'm like, hold on. Calm down. Yeah, that's me too. <laughs> yeah. What's the problem? And what and then what what it's gonna take? Okay, done. Let me send you that. Let's fix it. We'll just come, you know, just to if I know I can fix it, I'm gonna try to fix it and then it's over with. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, see, that's just me. I don't like to dwell on stuff. I don't like to argue. I have very good high energy. I don't like arguing. I don't like no one messing with my energy. Like, I will go off on you because you're trying to mess up my energy. Mm -hmm. Right. You know? So, I'm a peaceful person. I'm cool. What y'all see is really what y'all get. Like, it's really me. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. All I can say is y'all got to just live life. You only got one time to do it and invest into your kids Man. because that's that. Now. Invest into your kids. You know what I'm saying? My mama had me doing stuff. My mom and daddy had me doing all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't like that for me. But look how it came back through that speed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, talk right to him, my team. You hear you? <laughs> for real, it's real life. Yeah, though, for real though, it's, it's it, real. and it's beautiful, Auntie. How how things come to fruition and how you could plant a seed so long ago and you might not even know that it's growing. You know what I mean? Right. And I'm still. Mm -hmm. I'm still. I'm claiming this mm -hmm. right now because this is what I love to do. Mm -hmm. I spend hours. Of, I love doing it, so mm -hmm. I'm claiming 
this. Ma'am. You know? Mm-hmm. I'm a fashion week one day. I'm going to be there. Ma'am. Then I'm going to be in some movie. I want to play some hood mama. I don't know. Or some popular mama. Like, I'm claiming it. I've been saying that. It's coming up. Trust me. me, me I'm, I'm right with you, Auntie. They got to see your nephew on the big screen doing what he do. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? I'm, Giving it to him. For real. In reality, we kind of steered away. Y'all, I, I know y'all wonder why we have not had that. We had. We had advances. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But we want positive. We're not a family of drama. And we're not going to create drama. You're not going to have me socking my son in his mouth right. with him being You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or, or we arguing about something or some money and stuff. We don't have those type of problems right. because I did what I was supposed to do with my son. Right. Well, my son. 18, you know, he had over, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He had his shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I did that why he respects me. That's why they do what they do for me because I played the game right. That's right. Yeah, yeah so blessings overflow. He turned 18. That's his shit. Now, I was in control before he was 18, but that's he the shit now. Where's my own shit? Now. Don't forget about yourself and the and why you're investing in working on your kids' futures. Because I left myself. I left myself. So now at 50, I feel like I'm starting over again. Mm -hmm. But it's a feeling because I'm a it's just gonna show what type of real hustler I am. Right. Right. That, it was just in a legal way. Now now, if we had this business mind, been gone, been gone. <laughs> you know, all that running through, man, we would have been man. Mm -mm -mm. We the around this thing. You ain't never lied, and see, you ain't never lied. <laughs> we do the game. That's why y'all better soak up the game, like right now. That's why I got you here. That's why you're here right now, Auntie, to, to, to download this game on us, to download this game on them so they can understand what how important your journey is, how fulfilling it is, how how much it can change the world, how much you need to be a movie and all those things. You know what I mean, Auntie? Yes. But I'm excited and um, it's going down. That's all I can say. I'm just I'm just to my journey. So what's next for you? What's, what's what's the next thing for you, Auntie? What they what should they be looking for from you and for you? Uh sparkle me jeans. Now say it again. Like, like sparkle me jeans. You hear you? Sparkle, you want to shine, you want to feel good, you want to be that big. Now you feel when you walk in a room, everybody looking at you like, damn, what she got on that. That's what I'm doing. Now. That's Everywhere I go, they stopping me. They stopping me in the airport. They stopping me in the stores. They stopping me on the street. Oh my God, I love your jacket. And I'm getting all cultures though. Mm -hmm. See, trying my next thing. I'm I'm working on Soul Blue, uh, being a vendor. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm working on that. So hopefully, you know, I be up in there because this perfect stuff. I'm having jean shorts sparkled up. Um, Raw sparkled up. I'm doing it. And I'm doing custom orders, however you want it. But that's my biggest thing. You okay. know what I'm saying? And I, I'm still got to manage my kids, of course. Mm -hmm. And one, now I'm not going to say one day soon because, you know, I got a, um, uh, I got a, a daughter that graduated from film. So working on our little documentary, mm -hmm. I do a little bit. But yeah, it's going to even have from Shaheen. Shaheen's dad story mm -hmm. into me meeting. Yeah. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. You know, okay. I had the my first baby dad. Well, yeah. Crazy. Man. But yeah, but the whole, that story. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. 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 So, okay. we're going uh, we're going we to uh, probably, you know, by the summer. Okay. So we're working on mm -hmm. All right. Before I let you go, I want to know, Auntie, one last thing. Who had the best house parties back in the days when you was coming up? Oh, <laughs> the one that I in a Huckleberry house over? <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
Hey, wait a minute. Hey, hold on. You remember the Huckleberry House? Uh -huh. Tell me you ever know about the Huckleberry House. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The Huckleberry House. Anyway, Harbor Road. Mm. Just to see. RBL. You know, I was there when he lost his eye. You know, my baby daddy was from there, so that's why I was always on Harbor Road. Mm -hmm. So I was over there to see him at the party. You know, hey. But um, that was my favorite parties was Harbor Road. But them things were oh, we didn't know <laughs> we had dodging bullets and all oh, some nights it was ever, you know, it was yeah. hurt and then it was nights it was really crazy, but Harbor Road, bro. Harbor Road. Road. Oh, that. Backseat, yeah, booby, all of them, like everybody, baby, everybody. Yeah. Oh, 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 that's my name. But yeah, Harbor Road. That was okay. Nice. Auntie, I thank you so much. I appreciate you. Like I said in the beginning, um, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of the kid. Y'all motivate me. Y'all keep me on my game. Keep me trying to do something positive and productive at all times. And I just want you to know how how much your story and how much. You are motivation and you are inspiring. I love you and I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I love you too. Man. Thank you. We got to cook again. We got to eat. You just tell me when. You know I'm coming. I got the season. You know I'm going to do my thing for y'all. Okay. And I got baby girls. Um, her birthday. Okay. All right. All right. Love you. I love you too. Keep it up. All right. Bye-bye.